but that's okay though. That's what my thing looks like. Two minutes. How do you explain to somebody that they say, um, when does my time start? No. I hope that you know your love. Um, beyond what you could ever dream, think, and imagine. And I know that seems far off because you haven't really felt love. Um, not of this amount that I'm explaining to you now. And if you don't know God, then you are, have been, having searched for it in the world. So the love that we think is love is honestly hatred to God's love. And I know you haven't seen him. You can't touch him. You can't really count where he's been in your life, but I promise you that he has been, that you wouldn't make it to this day to hear this had it not been for him. And so I know they'll tell you in the world it's crazy to believe in what you cannot see, what you can't touch, what you, what you haven't heard, but if you look deeper inside or outside that he can be found and know that in all your badness, you couldn't be good enough to be good enough. And that he loved you beyond what you could think or see. And that's why he saved you, even if you knew it uh, or not. Two minutes. Convince a person that they are saved. I would, first and foremost, no matter what anyone has told you about this Bible, about God, about Jesus, John 3, 16, and read from 16, 17, 18, God so loved the world that believe it then you are already condemned understanding of what that is is if you believe that's enough god loves you uh, there's nothing that you can possibly do in order to get to heaven because it's not by our own power so whatever anybody else has told you that's wrong so god loves you and he made sacrifices for you plain and simple. with time Now, if you go or not, if you take it or not, you know, that's on you, but salvation is not earnable, it's not attainable, therefore it can't be usable. It's, it's a free gift. Okay? You can take the ticket and, and go to the to the show. Sometimes people tend to keep that ticket and be like, I don't want to go to the show. It's like, it's like your life. You, you weren't here to bargain for it. I mean, as far as we know, like, we just became conscious one day, right? And start keeping track of time, asking for stuff. And unless you take it, you have no control of when it's done with. Uh, we need to be in a spirit, in a season of giving up. Uh, we need to be in a season of I quit. And what that means is uh, I give up trying to do and work my way into heaven. I quit trying to conform to how they want me to, to be, in, uh, to talk and to, to walk. Uh, I give up uh, the things that have held me down, have been burdening me, burdening me uh, to this life, uh, to damnation. Uh, I quit uh, not, I, me, I quit not doing and not understanding and not knowing that uh, I am already blessed and that if I just believe that I can, I can, I can go up to heaven. I quit holding myself to things that that, that don't matter. I, I give up on things that can hinder me uh, and as far as my understanding and my growth and my blessings. Do you, do you have any quits? Do you have any uh, give ups? Because I'm a, I, I'm a quitter. I'm a quitter of this world and I'm going to give up. I'm going to give up all of it. I think that um, Jesus demonstrates the quality of every example or attribute of a person that we should subscribe to. He is God, but he quits. He absolutely gives up at the end.
very last thing that the Bible records that uh, he does before he gives his life is that he says, into your hands do I, I commend my spirit. Right. I give it up. And I think it's not a bad thing. And so they tell you in this world, in this life, that don't quit. Um, that if anything, you can be reformed from it. You can find a new way to shape it, form it, and put a spin on it, and do the remix of it. But if any, don't, don't give up. Don't quit. I gotta tell you on today that some of the best decisions that you ever make uh, is one of throwing your hands up, walking away, quitting. That there's some stuff you need to not uh, repeal and replace, but you, you need to absolutely be finished with, uh, be done with, quit, quit from it. I quit from lying to me. Uh, and, and so I, I believe I am everything God says that I am. I, I believe that I have everything that God says that I have, even if I don't see it, um, I have it. And, and those things are not always tangible. So I give up uh, the me that want to be so tied to the world that I would consider my value worthless because of what right. uh, they can't see at work. Right. I give up trying to impress folk that don't that don't like me and I don't like them. Trying to run into rings, I guess, with, with like this amount of class of folk are, are these friends. Like, and not just past and stuff, but stuff today. I give up trying to please people who oh, it's not my job to make them like me right but I stop trying to be liked and just love even if that means love from afar right and then like you know I think there's amounts of, of you lying to you or like you, you making overcome like this and that but I think to like the deepest of core like we're still lying to ourselves because it's like I lie to me daily and, and tell myself in my mind that if everything is going to be okay, everything is going to gonna like work out for my favor. But in my head, it's, it's like I'm saying it, but I know in my head just it's like hoping for it to be okay with this end. Stop, stop, stop lying to me about stuff that you already know is not like. God didn't say we was going to have a good life on this side. Yeah, it's it. It's just in this First life, you we all have trouble. Right. 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 And be be okay with the you who you are. So I give up trying to dress for them, eat for them, work for them, live for them. That becomes more than like just words, but uh, affirmation of me. Mm -hmm. That I give up, and I start to love me. Period. That's what it is. Period. If if you quit anything other than faith and your trust in God because God's going to love you regardless if, if you know it or not never give up on you change everything around you quit with everything attached to you don't just just give you a chance don't don't give up on you yeah I agree with that no that's you can quit and give up on everybody else it's not giving up on it, it's like I, because I'm still going to love my neighbor, I, I can also love my neighbor from a distance, and also loving my neighbor could be, can mean me backing off from them and learning to love me better, yeah. because I can't love you if I can't love myself, come on, come on, come on. plain and simple, how can I love you when I hurt me, I can only love you the way that I love myself, so that means everybody else who claims to love me, they're only loving me, they see what they see, how me loving myself, so if I love me better, then I can only love you much better because the love has to come from within. When I got that, when I got that, that made me cut off a lot of people. And and not because I didn't think they loved me or didn't like me, but because I knew one, I was incapable of being able to love them and I knew that, that they couldn't love me. Because if you love you, you won't tolerate anything. Right. Then. And if you love me, you'll hurt me a lot of times because you'll see I don't love me. Right. Right. You, I can't be upset at you because you love me how I used to love myself. So the only thing I have to do and I can do is come to you at a place and say, um, I've learned to love me better. And if you haven't learned to love me, then I'm going to back off because I love, I love me and I love you. And I don't want for either of us to hurt each other. So I can only do what I can do because I can do it.
love misplaced or love mishandled is still hatred. That's right. But it's perceived different. Yeah. Just because I said, <laughs> come on, come on. just because I I hand you something that's got sugar on it, don't don't mean that you should be eating it with don't sugar. That is sweet. And we we become accustomed to bitter stuff, mm -hmm. and we make it sweet. But that don't change the fact that it's bitter. That it's bitter. Yeah. Regardless if you receive that or you reject that or if you want it, it's like it's bitter. And sometimes bitter is better until you have tried sweet. Mm.